here for round four, two and one. We got beat up pretty bad by Tron. I feel like Tinky Winky is someone. Someone I should know, but like a long time ago, used to play Moto a lot. I could be wrong though. <clears throat> I'm normally pretty good about that stuff. Ooh, Island. Aether Vile. That's a weird card. Um. <clears throat> well, we're in the spot where our mana leaks suck. Uh, hopefully we get to K-Command this Vial, being on the draw sucks. Uh, don't necessarily want to play Basic Island, which again is probably an indicator that I should not have two islands, because I have them both in my hand. They don't look very good, but... Uh, like, what if I thought Scour into a Terminate, for example? Then, then it's pretty bad, but... Whatever. I should probably just take two off the steam vents, but this makes it so they can't spreading seize me, but if they did spreading seize me, that means that they're not playing a creature, so I kind of don't mind that. Oh, they reveal. Masta. Alright, so they don't have a one drop. Can confirm. Liliana would be nice. Just pick off that adept. I mean, not for long, because, you know, Lord and Mutavolt and whatnot, but, you know. What if I was on the play and got to Mana Leak that Adept, and then untap and Cake Man their Vial? It would be sick. Let me tell you. Alas, alas. We've not seen Liliana in action yet. Probably because I've been boarding it out a decent amount. <laughs> what are you going to do? Sit here, I guess. Wait for my opponent. Waiting. Oh, there we go. Doing it. Magic is happening. <clears throat> so, probably want to fetch Blood Crypt. Because I want a Black Source, but also want another Red for this Pia. Glad my opponents not have a Cavern of Souls. Because now they have Leaky Mana. Yep, down with this. Okay, that was that was a good draw. I think I just wanna smash the vial. I could see making them discard, but all right. So we're at twelve, going to at least ten, maybe lower. Just just. Depending on how many mutavolts my opponent wants to send in there. Okay, a 3 6. Now we're at 6. That's bad. Uh, another red source would be sweet. Or black source, really. Uh, Reveler, not so great. Uh, things have island walk, so I need to kill that master. This is bad. This is very bad. Too many islands. I think our best shot is to just pass here. <clears throat> Hope they only fire up one Mutavolt. Yeah, play draw mattered a lot in this game. Because most of the time, Grixis just needs time. Just a little bit of time, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like my opponents would have been better served just animating both Mutavolts. And I think I'm better served killing this Master. I 
Well, there's the red source we wanted last turn, but it's okay. Might still be fine, uh, as long as our opponent doesn't have another lord. Oh man, Liliana kills Master Waves too? That's so good. Man, I have so many ways to kill Master. At least compared to my normal deck. What did they, they didn't reveal anything? I don't get it. Curse Catcher, okay. All right, all right. <clears throat> it's a bunch of stuff. Um, kind of just want to get Steam in so we have another red. Wouldn't mind another black too. Oh hell yeah, we're blocking. But if it's steam vents versus water grave, we're getting steam vents. Hmm. So my opponent has four things. I don't think I have the luxury of just thought casting Thought Scour. I think I just need to play Reveler and have three mana open, which is kind of a tilt, really. And it does cost two mana, so that's good. Exaxes. We're still alive. Still alive. Now we're super alive, actually. Uh, is there any reason for me to hold this delta? I don't think so. We can't gain life. But uh, I don't think there's any reason to hold it in my hand except maybe to bluff something. So if they just cast Curse Catcher, I might have to play Snap Bolt. I would prefer to hold on to that Snapcaster if possible, but I, st I guess I still have Pia and a Thopter if I need to kill a Lord at some point. But maybe the Thopter doesn't make it through this turn. Or Pia might not make it through the turn, rather. Ooh, that's, that's good. That is very good. So we still need to hit something on our turn, I think, no matter which way I look at it. Yeah, we do. We have we have two random draw steps. And, it, like, this is probably not the right way to do things. I should probably bolt something first to see if they curse catcher. Maybe they won't curse catcher. But either way, this is what's going to happen, assuming my opponent uses the curse catcher. Maybe they're not actually thinking about the the delta or whatever. But <clears throat> And we got lucky. We drew a bolt, and we have a reveler on top. So <clears throat> we should get the bolt. What is this? Is that, is that better than just... Attacking with mutable? I'm hoping I don't have it. I don't know. It's all the same to me. Hmm. Rebel are just kind of going ham. Kind of love it.
So still somehow kind of in this game. Freak Maw, hmm. Well. Well, well, well. I could just attack and then cast Freak Maw, but that doesn't really get me anywhere. Ooh, that's, that's nifty. So we can Reveler, or we can Liliana back a Reveler and just draw three cards, or we could just get P and Kieran, which I think locks it up. Uh, maybe not against Master of Waves. <laughs> okay, just bounce my Reveler, sure. Oh, did not use the ability. That's smart. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, okay, well, we have a discard spell, so we can kind of see what's going on here. First catcher and a Master Waves. Oh, I guess, yeah, we have Liliana for Master. Duh. Duh. I was just talking about that and how great it was. Uh, so let's get PN Kieran for now. And then how many things should we attack with? Opponent has a Master Wave. So even if they draw a Lord, we're still okay. Man, Liliana great, Shriek Maw great, Reveler great. Just whole deck is great. Second, second Island is not good though. Just nothing better than stabilizing at one, just like being behind the entire game. You just claw your way back. It's so satisfying. Don't actually know how good Pia is, especially compared to Kalidus. I don't think I want Thoughtseize. Mana Leaks are fairly rancid. I even think that Anger is probably pretty bad. Pia or Kalidus? That's kind of the question here. Could also see bringing in a couple Fulminators from Mutavolts, but. It is, it is not the most efficient. I will say that much. So I like the one to spell. Maybe I have to fight through like a spell pierce or a vapor snag or dismember or something like that. So I like having one to spell against them typically. There's no guarantee that they're not going to draw cavernous souls. So I don't like the mana leaks, uh, especially since they have cavern and vile. They have two different things. Uh, it's possible that I really need a one mana card. So maybe I'm supposed to have a thought seize. And Anger is probably not great, but uh, if I can get a two-for-one off it, I'm super happy. So yeah, that game, that game just worked out. It worked out quite well. Our deck did its thing, looked pretty good. Did get lucky a couple times for sure, drew the bolt, which was nice. Two revelers. This this does not work well together. So I have Inquisition, some removal spells, but no red mana, and I have two revelers. So I don't know. I think I have to mulligan this. I think the the hand is just a little bit too awkward. This hand, on the other hand, is just fine. A little risky because we only have one land, but we do get a scry and. We have 23 lands, which I've mostly enjoyed. So I think I might just keep the Tarn uncracked.
Don't know what I could draw to make me want to sack this. I guess, yeah, Serum Visions is it. <laughs> That's, I guess, I guess I have Thought Scour too, but. So I think I should get a red. So we're taking some extra damage here. And I think I'm going to bottom the anger. I don't know, though, because if if they play Master of Waves, then anger is pretty decent. If they spreading seize me and I keep it on top, it's kind of a travesty. I don't think I want the tar pit. But if I top the anger, maybe I don't have to bolt anything. Like, if they go Lord to hit you or whatever, then I don't necessarily have to bolt. And I can just save the bolt for later. Clean two for one. Basically all we can ask for. So we could just K command this thing right now and I'm kind of down with that. Make sure that, you know, you never really give them an opportunity to spell pierce you if you can avoid it. Huh. So I don't really want to inquisition them, but I do want to cast spells. I do want to hit some more land drops so I can deploy this Pia. Yeah, sure. Well, that's kind of a beating, but whatever. <clears throat> well, we get there anyway. Get to play three spells this turn. Look at us go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bottom this Terminate, actually. And I think now I'll top the Tar Pit, just because we need a land. So two Master Waves coming. Have to find some sort of answer to that. Uh, Regery, Curse Catcher, Image. I don't think Image is going to do anything. I think I'll just take the Rege. Well, you should start with Curse Catcher if you're going to image. Well, I guess you get to image my Snapcaster then. You can dismember it if you like. I'm fine with that. <clears throat> Pay that life. Don't play your, your whatchamacallit, your curse catcher. What does this cost? Three? That's not bad. And then do I bolt to prevent uh, an extra master thing? I don't think so, oh, especially now. So next turn, if they draw a land, I'm going to have to Liliana the master. Or Curse Catcher or Snapcaster, just whatever I want. I just get to kill it, <laughs> which is awesome. 
Uh, and then I think I just want to make my land drop and then I can draw up the bolt next turn. So we're, we're good. Liliana doing some work finally. Yeah, mutable, it's a good draw. It is not bad. Hell yeah, I block. Ugh. That might that might be the grossest thing I've seen. <laughs> it's just so absurd. Yeah, sure. Hit my Liliana for three, whatever. So next turn they can play Curse Catcher, Animate Muta Vault, and Island Walk all over me. I don't really want that to happen. Uh, so I'll just tick up there. I don't think I get to play Pia and Kieran this turn. I think I need to hold open Bolt, Snap Bolt. Liliana is nice. Liliana the Veil, not very good against Master Waves. Obviously a very good card, but this Liliana is just so good for what this deck is trying to do. So you're going to play Curse Catcher, that's going to be fine. No, just... Just jamming on in, huh? Yep, that's it. <laughs> Liliana, jeez. 